This is the overview for the i12 whole home tankless water heater. Now to save on time, I've already removed the front cover. You can do so by removing the two screws located here at the bottom and these two screws located here at the top. What I'm going to do is point out all of the individual components and then I'm going to explain how the heater works. Starting here, you've got your water inlet and your flow adjustment, your flow meter, your gas valve, your burner assembly, your ignition pins, your flame sensor, your computer board, your overtemp sensor, your fan assembly, your vacuum switch, and your outlet water temperature sensor. Water flows in through the water inlet, which sends a signal to the flow meter to send a signal to the computer board. The computer board then actuates three separate things. It tells the fan to start pulling air up through the burner tells the valve to open up and allow the gas to pass through, and it starts the ignition process. Once that's complete, this is where the flame sensor takes over. If the flame sensor detects that there's a flame, it'll stop the ignition process. If it doesn't detect that there's a flame, it'll try to reignite again before possibly displaying an error code. Now, last of all, your overtemp sensor. Your overtemp sensor is basically like a fail-safe. If the water temperature exceeds a temperature that the machine can handle safely, it'll go ahead and shut the unit down to prevent any damage from occurring to the unit. And this concludes the overview of the i12 whole home tankless water heater.